We're out here in Madrid, Spain at the Urban World Series World Skate World Final. It's anyone's game really, just gotta land your tricks, get that competition run right and blow them out the water. Hard work beats talent any day of the week. The obsession and consistency really does give you the results that you want to have. Time to just put it all on the court. The riding does the talking. My name is Chris Ferris. This is Jamie Hall. James Sharwin. I'm at Oscar Bar. Jordan Clark. I am going to win this contest. I think this year Jordan Clark's probably going to be the one that I go head to head with. Jamie Hole, depending on how he's feeling on the day, he's also going to be a big one to watch out for. Everybody can take the win at the end of the day. I think Esteban Clot is really making a name for himself, pushing up the ranks slowly but surely. I would say my biggest competitor at this competition would have to be Jamie Hole, knowing that he's won this competition before. His diverse amount of choice would definitely have to be someone to look out for. I'm a lot more focused for some reason. I just feel. Like every competition I go into, if I land the runs that I want, I could definitely win it. So fingers crossed we get through to Sunday and we can throw down for everyone. Got nothing to lose, but I've got everything to win, so I'm gonna have to do that this weekend. But I'm on now, all these lanes gonna zone out, and all these lanes gonna I'm not winging anything, I'm not hoping for the best. I have a very clear plan, I know exactly what needs to be done. And I say in the lab and I kill everything, but I don't ever move, I'm a code So don't, I'm gone, finally back in my home. I'm working like so much, they swear I had me a clone. Can't answer my phone now, just leave it there, that tone. I'm there to defend my title and still be world champion. I'm back in my zone now. I've been getting my runs down and you know happy with my riding, so that's sort of the preparation that I'm taking coming into this world championship. I still don't really know. I thought that it was going to be enough, and I played it a little safer than I should have. Tried to save some energy for tomorrow, and uh, qualified 12th. So uh, not going into finals tomorrow. All good. Learning from this. Tomorrow I'm going to sit back. I'm going to watch how this goes down, and I'm going to prepare for what comes next. You guys know me, man. Come on. This ain't the end, bro. Come on. This ain't the end.
we're out here, Urban World Series World Championships, just about to go down, ended up placing first in semi-finals. So I'm gonna be one up in a few things in my run. A little bit of nerves, but I'm excited. Hopefully I'll smash it and we'll see what happens. We're going into a, a hot day and almost some unexpected results from the semi-final yesterday. For me, the riding yesterday was so impressive to see how many people were really going harder than I expected and there were so many riders that I didn't know that were at that level. So for scootering, it's awesome to see a final with almost all new people and for sure four people that we expected. The top favorites are Jordan Clark, Jamie Hull, and Jaden Charman, but we might actually expect to see somebody new that's never been on the podium before actually get a medal today. Nicholas Nelson, Mate Pekarak came out of nowhere, shut down the course, and showed us OGs how we really need to step up our game going into the finals. Maybe this year, you're going to see a world champion that's completely unexpected. Everyone can make mistakes, so it can be totally different. It's a freestyle sport. There's judges sitting there. So you can never guess who is going to be on the podium. Riders we expected to be in the top ended up actually having riders that were in a younger generation do better than them. I would rather see somebody who's just come out of nowhere and win the world championship. I'd probably put Esteban up there. He's been winning a lot of contests lately. I'm feeling like the biggest competition at the moment is definitely Jaden Charman. He's been practicing, he's been getting all of his tricks down, hands down, definitely one of the best riders in the world. It's gonna be tough, it's gonna be a battle, but I'm ready for it. Fingers crossed we can do it. I'm very confident in my ability. I just want to have fun and just go out there and put on a show for everyone. I've never been on a world skate competition and straight to world finals and got third place. Amazing. 
my goal was to be the best and um, all I could do was put the best run together as I could and uh, that's what I feel like I did. So I was so close to the top, wasn't quite there yet. Jordan is still unbeatable, but we're going to get him. Kota needs to come back. I'm, I'm on five now, he's on four. He needs to come back. He needs to get his scooter out of the garage. 